Muiz from India. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Sheikh, there are these ex-Muslims on YouTube who say that uh, they have these uh, correct translations of the Quran. They call this Arab man in their show and they said that uh, the, that the words from Surah Naba, wa taraba, means firm and medium bosom, which is absolutely insulting. Yeah, and, and people are laughing and on the comments, people are insulting the Quran and saying all these things. Mm. So I want, uh, so I want the clarity on the verse wa kawaiba taraba. And and the second verse they they, they quoted was from Surah at tahrim the last ayah, where uh, where uh, where Maryam Ali Salam she guarded her chastity and the angel blew into her. And these and these mischief people are saying that um, that the angel blew into her private part, which is sickening. So I want this uh, clarity on these two verses, Sheikh. May Allah reward you. From India says there are an ex-Muslims. There are the ex-Muslims is a beautiful yani, uh, terminology and description. They are not ex-Muslims. When you say ex-Muslims, it's like ex-men, like uh, think something is wow. No, they are apostates, murtadun, and there are chapters about how to deal with them in the books of of uh, fiqh. They are disbelievers the worst kind of disbelievers i can eat the, the 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 meat slaughtered by jews and christians but i cannot eat the meat slaughtered by these apostates like i cannot eat meat of the qadianis or the baha'is etc so don't yeah any uh, 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 polish their reputation by giving them their apostates call them what they should be called now he says that they say that the translation of the Quran is wrong, that this is a, a, a bad uh, um, uh, translation. It talks about uh, girls or women with, with bosoms and, and, and things like that. Akhi, are you a Muslim to begin with, Muiz? If you're a Muslim, you don't listen to liars and you don't take their heinous uh, comments to be facts. So if I were to tell you all what they have mentioned is correct, you're going to leave your religion, welcome to the club. Be with them. You don't take knowledge through your logic or what the customs say or the people say. You take your knowledge from the Quran and from the Sunnah and you abide by it. Such liars, such apostates and disbelievers should not be given any platform to express their attacks and disrespect to our religion. So I hope this answers your question.